So, can you mine crypto with just your gaming PC? Yes, yes you can. And today, we're going to be checking out how you can start to mine cryptocurrency. More specifically, we'll be checking out how to mine Ethereum with just your gaming PC. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So this is going to be a, a guide for complete beginners. You've not got a single penny in crypto and you're just getting started. With that in mind, I'll try my best to be as clear as possible with the instructions and I'll have the links for everything that I speak about down below. So to begin with, what do you actually need? Well, you need a graphics card or a GPU I, with ideally four gigabytes of VRAM, not system RAM, not like your computer RAM, video memory RAM, which is on your graphics card. So like, um, 1060s with six gigabytes or 1650s 1660s or pretty much all rtx cards have got more than four gigs of vram next you're going to want a crypto wallet this is like a normal wallet that you keep money in except you keep crypto coins in and it's stored online so it's not like a physical wallet there's a few different ones you can get online and um, most would most beginners would should suggest coinbase it's very easy to get to get started with it's safe it's probably one of the most popular ones. It's the one I use at the minute as well. Uh, I'll have a link for it down below so you can sign up. It's completely free. And once your account gets verified, you'll be able to buy and sell crypto coins on that as well. Next, once we've got our crypto wallet set up, we're going to want to go to Nanopool. This is where we're getting the mining software from. So I'll leave a link for the actual download page. Just make sure you get the most recent version and make sure it's for the correct operating system. So it's most probably going to be Windows. Once that's downloaded, you're going to want to save it in a file, I've just called my mining, um, and then you're going to want to use WinRAR to extract the file, so it comes out as a folder that you can access. Once that's all extracted, you're going to want to go back to Coinbase, to where your wallet is. We're going to need to get the address of your crypto wallet. So you go to settings, click on your little profile in the top right, go to settings, then to crypto addresses. Then. You can click on Ethereum. I already have mine set up here. These are just a few of the coins that I've got at the minute. Um, but you want to get the Ethereum one, not Ethereum Classic, just normal Ethereum. So copy that. Now we're going to want to go back to that file that we've just extracted. Open it up, go down to the config notepad, like double click it, go into it. It should be a text file like this. Go to where the wallet part is and there's a address, a load of numbers and letters. Delete all of that and paste your one in so that it's going to your address. Next, underneath wallet, do a new line, type in coin in capitals and equals ETH. That's so we tell it what to mine. Next, you're going to want to give it a rig name. This can just be anything. This is just so you know which, if you've got multiple, you know which one is which. You don't actually need to do it, but you could just put like minor 100 or something. And then click save. Now, I don't know if you actually need to do this step, but I've done it and mine works fine, so I'm going to tell you this anyway. Go down to the uh, config equals ETH, um, the ETH, and then just swap your address, the wallet address in there to your one again, and then just click save. And that's it. You're pretty much set up. Um, you can go down once that's all saved and click on the nanominer.exe and it'll start mining for you. You can check that it's working because if you scroll up to the top, it should say your rig name that you've put in. Um, yeah, so then you can just literally leave it and it'll start mining crypto. So a few things to note. You can check how much crypto you've actually mined. If you go to nanopool.org and click on overview on Ethereum, and then paste your address in into the search bar and it'll come up with how much you've mined it'll come up with your hash rate your hash rate is how quickly you, you can mine how quickly you're getting stuff um, it depends on your gpu really so the better gpu you have the more vram the higher your hash rate and obviously the more gpus you have the higher your hash rate um, so i mean mine average is around 20 with my 2060 Another thing to note is it's very GPU intensive. So if you're doing it, I'd do it when you're not really on your PC or you're just not really doing anything that's too GPU intensive because you won't be able to like play games and also mine at the same time. It'll be a bit, a bit too much on your GPU. Um, but yeah, if, you've, if you're not on your PC, you might as well, you might as well start it up and leave it on. 
And the next thing, which is probably the biggest thing to note, is how much you're actually going to mine and how much you actually make. So, like, there's people out there who spend thousands on GPUs and set up mining farms just to get a single coin a day. Um, so obviously, with a single GPU, even if it's like a 2080 or whatever, don't be expecting to become like a millionaire overnight, or probably ever, with just one GPU. Um, it's something to do, it's fun to do while you're not on your PC, it's, might as well make a tiny bit of money, it's better than nothing like. But yeah, that's about it, that's about everything that you need to know to get started mining with a uh, gaming PC. It's just a little video to show you that it was actually possible to do it with a gaming PC and it's just something fun to do. So if you've got any questions, shoot them down below and I'll try and get back to you. If you've learned something new or you like this type of content, hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.